Hi students. Today I wanted to read a book just for fun to listen to the rhymes. This book is called Bats at the Library. It was written and illustrated by Brian Lies. He's the author and the illustrator. Bats at the Library. Another inky evening's here. The air is cool and calm and clear. We've feasted, fluttered, swooped, and soared, and yet we're still a little bored. All this sameness leaves us blue and makes us ache for something new. Then word spreads quickly from afar. A window has been left ajar. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes, bat night at the library. The sky is lively as we race together toward our favorite place. Eager wings beat autumn air. Look, that's it. We're almost there. Then squeezed together wing to wing, we rocket through the opening. We've waited for this night all year, but this is it. At last, we're here. For most old bats, this isn't new. They've got lots of things to do. They'll flutter off and lose themselves among the books lined up on shelves. Other bats in munchy moods will study guides to fancy foods or hang out by a lamp instead to talk about books they've read. But little bats will have to learn the reason that we must return. The ones who haven't come before have no idea what's in store. Some of them will drift away and figure out a game to play like shaping shadows on the wall or wingtip tag around the hall. This box is loads of fun, blasting brighter than the sun. Instead of copying books from shelves, we can duplicate ourselves. Doesn't matter where you look, there's nothing like a pop-up book. The fountain water is nice and cool and makes a splendid swimming pool. Please keep it down. You must behave. The library is not your cave. It's hard to settle down and read when life flits by at dizzy speed. But story time is just the thing to rest a play exhausted wing. Oh, I love seeing all those little bats with their eyes on the book and their listening ears. And if we listen, we will hear some distant voices drawing near. Louder, louder, louder still, they coax and pull us in until... Everyone, old bat or pup, has been completely swallowed up and lives inside a book instead of simply hearing something read. Oh, they're visualizing and pretending it's them in the book. <laughs> Breathless, lost within the tale, no one sees the sky grow pale. What is that light? A lamp? The moon? Our bookish feast can't end so soon. It feels as though we've just begun, but now we leave our books half done. Through the window into the sky, it's much too late, we've got to fly. But maybe a librarian will give us bats this chance again and leave a window open wide to let us share the world inside. For now, we'll dream of things we've read, a universe inside each head. Early evening, one and all, will listen for that late night call. Can it be true? Oh, can it be? Yes. Bat Night at the Library.
bet you never knew how much bats love books. This book was fiction. It's fake. It's just for our enjoyment. Did you hear any rhymes in the book? I hope you did. You can always listen to it again and see if you can hear the rhymes then.